Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is part one of my package mini Packages mini-series. I'm going to open up my web browser to javacjava.com, select menu, and Java OOP tutorials, which are my object-oriented programming tutorials. And I'm going to select Packages Part 1. Java provides us with the ability to secure the members of a package using access modifiers. There are a total of four types of access modifiers, public, private, protected, and default. Now default's not highlighted because it's actually not used as a keyword, it's just implicit. Access modifiers will have numerous tutorials dedicated to each of the types. This tutorial will demonstrate the use of the public access modifier across different packages. The Packages Tutorial mini-series will use packages and classes from previous package tutorials. You will need to keep those packages and classes around to complete the, example in the examples in this mini-series. In this tutorial I will create a location package with five classes, nation, state, county, city, and my location. Then I will modify the hello class in the about me package to call a method from the my location class in the location package. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to move this off screen here. I have a shortcut to the command prompt down here on my desktop. If you don't, you can create one really quick by right clicking, going to new shortcut, typing in cmd, next, and finish. It's just that easy. Okay, type in java c, which is the java compiler command line. We'll run that, and basically you should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't, if you get an error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java Development Kit. I want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for backslash, or, uh, change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory called Java. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. We'll change directories to the Java folder, and this is what we call the working directory, right? And basically, I'm going to build all my packages underneath here. And if you remember from the intro, the package uh, names have to match the directory structure underneath here. So currently, right now, if I do a, a directory forward slash s, which will take, take a look at all the this directory subdirectories, I've got the about me subdirectory. And inside of the about me, I've got the hello.java and hello.class. Okay. Go ahead and clear the screen. I'm gonna, since we're creating a new package, and this package is gonna call, be called location, we're gonna call this location all in upper in lowercase letters. So I'm gonna make a directory location here. I'm gonna change to the location folders, change directories there. And I'm gonna type in notepad. Um, the first one I'm going to do is uh, nation.java, right? Nation.java is gonna be the source code file for this class. Okay. I'm going to pull back over my website here, right? And I'm just going to cut and paste a lot of this stuff here. So we'll hit Control C, Control V. Um, this package, of course, is is location, and basically it's in the location folder, which matches that right there. Okay. So we and then here's our class nation, and it has one instance variable called nation name, string type, and set to United States. All right, pretty simple. Let's save that on its way out. The next one we're going to do is called um, state. Okay, it's control C, control V. So it's in the location package as well, and it extends nation, so it will go ahead and inherit the nation name instance variable from the nation class and this one also has a no, new instance variable state name string type um, equals florida the next one we're going to do is county control c control v and same package location and county extends state, right? So we will inherit the instance variables of nation name and state name. 
and also this has a new instance variable county name string type equal to orange county all right and now we'll notepad city.java control c control v city is also part of the location package and it extends county it has an instance variable called city name string data type set equal to orlando so because it extends county and county extends state and state extends nation we will inherit the other three instance variables nation name state name county name and of course we'll have city name here so we've got four instance variables available for this all right let's go ahead and close out of that save it and one more class here we'll call notepad mylocation.java okay let's go over here i like this code oh that's not the right code this code right here all right excellent so the, it's in the location package and my location extends city so that means it uh, will inherit all four of those instance variables that I just talked about there. It has one method called where I live that will return a string, right? And that string that will return will be city name plus comma space plus county name plus comma space plus state name plus comma space plus nation name. Now you'll notice I have the public keyword on the front of the class here. And what that does is that allows any other um, any other classes from any other packages and including this package location too as well so basically anything you know doesn't regardless of the package or or whatnot there but it allows um, let's just for this example say another class in a separate package to go ahead and create an instance of the my location um, class you can it can also uh, class in another package can also inherit the my location as well too. Maybe I'll do that for example as well. Now the public string, so even though you can inherit those, if I leave the public off, you still can't invoke the where I live because we haven't given that access to everything to there. So we have to put the public in front of this method as well so that anything even outside of the location class can, can go ahead and um, invoke that. All right, let's go ahead and save this here. And I'm gonna move that off screen. Okay, so I'm gonna run a directory here. And we've got our five source code files that we have. Now it should be tedious going through and compiling each one of those, especially because we really need to run the Java C command from down here, right? So what we're gonna do is the Java compiler basically wants an argument of what source code file to um, to compile. It can also take source code files and some and the wildcard too. So we want to pass it the location subfolder and then plus the asterisk which is the wildcard symbol.java and this will tell it to go ahead and compile all five of those files. Right? So now if we do a dir space forward slash s which is the um, tells it to look in the subfolders and we run that you can see now we have our our compiled bytecodes or dot class corresponding bytecode files here for all of the source code files. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear our screen there. Let's change our directories to the uh, the about me, right? Because we're going to mess around with the about me package, and I'm going to notepad up the hello dot java, which is the source code file that I used in the last tutorial for the introduction to packages. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink of water real quick. And I'm going to come back to the website here. All right, I'm going to hide uh, basically the same, same thing here. Two new lines right here. I'm going to highlight those two. Control C, and we'll come down here and paste them in. You know, just take these new off here that we know they're new. Okay, so what I've got here is I am simply, well, Got, I'm creating a reference variable reside, right, of, of my location object type. 
but I have to specify where my location is located because it's not in the about me package so it is an in location package and then using the dot, no, dot notation tells it you know this is the class that I'm looking for here so reside reference variable of my location object type equals new and then I'm going to create an instance of the location package dot my location class right and I'm going to assign a reference to, to that uh, class back to the res res reside um, reference variable. And then we're going to use that here. So print line will display I live in space plus reside dot. And now I can invoke the where I live method. All right, let's go ahead and run that here. Save. Let's go up a folder here and type in Java C about me. recompile this one here and then we'll type in Java about me so we're gonna run the about me hello class so about me package right dot hello is the way to do that if you remember that from my last tutorial and basically we have hello everybody my name is Dan I live in Orlando Orange County Florida United States so the Orlando Orange County Florida United States came over from um, the my location where I live method there that was returned back from there okay so let's do one other thing here so that's basically creating an instance out of that there now we can also extend this here too so let's go ahead and uh, do extends location dot my location right and now we'll inherit all of those everything basically that um, location dot my location um, contains. So what we can do here is we can't directly access it because of the static modifier and I haven't talked about the, the static um, modifier yet there keyword and so what we have to do is we have to say hello which is its own class right and we'll just use the same reference variable since I commented it out there reside equals new hello right and then, control S. All right. So basically, we're we're inheriting um, this right here. Or in other words, hello is the subclass of the location package dot my location class. Right. This is now the superclass here. Subclass superclass. So we inherited the um, where I live method here, so we can create a reference to our own class. And if you don't understand that, you can watch my tutorial. I got a tutorial in there on the object-oriented programming tutorials page about creating an object from your own class. And so basically then we can use reside and dot where I live. We can evoke that, right, that method right there. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and check that out. Yep, so, hello everybody, my name is Dan, I live in Orlando, Orange County, Florida, United States. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, and close out of that. And I'm just going to leave you with some final thoughts here. So, the public access modifier applied to classes and methods allows full access to members of other packages. There was a lot to take in on this tutorial, but with practice, everything will make sense. Um, just keep on sticking with these, and that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.